What is going on guys? So I'm back here at uh, Oso Flaco Lake, but I'm not going to be fishing Oso Flaco Lake. I'm going to be walking all the way past the pier, all the way to the dunes. And I'm hoping to catch some perch today. Um, I don't have the fish finder sliders, so I'm just going to go out there with the, in a, uh, with the Carolina rig. Got some, uh, got my four ounce pyramid weight and some Berkeley gulp sandworms. This is the, the 24 count, two inch. Uh, you can also get them in, I believe it's like a six inch, but like a 10 count, which, you know, you'd cut in half, but you know, uh, save the time of cutting. And I think you get a couple, like if you cut the six inches in half, you only get like 20, but it, you know, you can get these two inches, um, the 24 pack. So I guess you get like four extra, but who knows? So I'm going to rig up and then meet you guys down there. So I got my Berkeley sandworm. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Oh, nope. That was horrible. All right, so I hooked it. So I hooked up on something, but it's a little, it's, it's, it's a little small guy. But they're, oh yeah, it's a little small guy. But they're out here. There you go, first fish. They're out. They're out here. I'm gonna let this little guy go. All right, later, Jeffrey. All right, so we're hooked up again. Another little guy. See, another little guy. So, uh, you know, throw him back to All right, later, Jordan. Just a little tip. I would recommend using a flat surfaced weight, like a pyramid or a coined weight. You know, you don't want to use anything round because you're gonna, you're gonna roll off, roll around, and uh, you know, possibly get caught up in some other fisherman's line if there's anybody near, and you don't want that. So. You know, and I'd recommend using a four ounce or higher weight. Uh, you know, you can get away using a three, but you know, I, I like to use a four. And with the bait, you know, you don't have to use uh, gulp sandworms. You can actually, uh, if you have a, like a little tiny net with uh, little tiny holes, uh, you can just stick it in the ground. You know, anywhere along the coast right here, you just stick it in the ground. Uh, as the, the waves are washing in and catch some sand crabs or sand fleas, whichever you prefer to call it, and use those as bait because that's what they're, you know, actually feeding on. Or you can use, uh, little grubs, like as you would for crappie. Most people use, like, a motor oil color or a, you know, dark black, anything like that. So, you know, just a little tip. See, this is the type of net I was, uh, you know, talking about, you know, a little net. Uh, you can go to any, you know, store like Walmart or Kmart and, and get them. I believe they're like, you know, a couple dollars, uh, you know, not expensive. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, make another video on, you know, how to catch the sand crabs. You know, they're not too difficult. But.
there's a fish. There it is, a little bigger, you know, slightly bigger, but you know, still a little guy. Later, Donald. You know, as much as I like fishing, I'm not able to come out here every day or every other day. Like most people, I have a full-time job. So the only days I'm really able to come out, you know, fishing is on Sundays or on my day off. Like today, today's my day off. So you just got to be a little patient with me. Um, but, you know, it's awesome. I meet a lot of awesome people. Uh, like Dave, Dave. I didn't even talk about how I met Dave. Um, I was out at Avila Beach and I, act I was actually out there before him and then, you know, I, w you know, I wasn't feeling too comfortable going out by myself and so I brought my stuff back in, you know, to my car, <coughs> you know, tried to load it back up and then, what was it, I saw Dave, well I didn't know, you know, it was Dave at the time, but you know, I saw him, he was out there right about to, uh, you know, launch off. I ran over and, uh, you know, to see if I can go out with him. Because, you know, I, you know, it's never to go out on the ocean on a kayak by yourself. So, you know, I asked him, I was like, hey, you know, can I come out with you? You know, I don't feel safe going out there by myself. He's like, yeah, sure. So... It, kind of, it worked out for both of us because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gone out on the kayak. And if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have gone out deep as far as we went. And, you know, it was a good day. Both of us caught, you know, uh, fish. Um, but I did not record that day because it was, you know, my first time out there. And, you know, I wasn't sure how, uh, how rough the swells are going to be or anything like that. So, you know, I was, I was being safe and sorry. And... Yeah. All right, so I got to wrap it up today. Um, I got quite a bit of things to do today. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, like, comment. Uh, yeah, comment where you want me to hit next. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, you know, caught some, caught three small silver perch. So, I don't know. No skunk. It's a good thing. Uh, so if you're going to come out here, it's just letting you know, it's a really long walk. I think it took me from the parking lot to the dunes about mm, 15 minutes, but I'm a fast walker. So, you know, it's somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes just to get from the parking lot to the dunes. And, you know, that was a nice trail. Uh, you know, you don't have to walk on sand until you get to almost the dunes. So you're not ankle deep in sand the whole way, which is good. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. So I don't know when I'm gonna be back out, probably Sunday. I don't know, depends on what, you know, things I have to do. So, peace.